Empress Ariana Luciano. How are you guys doing? I hope you've had a good start to the month of July. This reading is for the week of July 11th. Okay, this is going to be a different reading. But before I get into that, I want to send you like this big old hug, like a big bear hug, and just want to say thank you for your support, for subscribers, for people who've watched the videos, for people who have gotten readings. Just thank you so much. You don't know how much you have blessed my life. And I appreciate all feedback that you give. I mean, you know, I can't expect for colored roses all the time. So I'm really, really glad that I had a pretty good balance of feedback. Thank you so much for telling me on ways that I can improve and for things that I can do better. Um, so, thank you, thank you, thank you, and big, big hugs to everybody. This week will be different, like I said. Um, since I just put the monthlies out, they were kind of heavy. And then, you know, lately we've had a lot of energy coming in, just in the world. Um, a lot has happened. And I'm not going to get on a political soapbox or anything. I just want to say that there's been a lot going on. And so, this week I kind of wanted to focus on something different. Something about self-love and how we can love and honor ourselves so that we can show more love and honor to our universe and to others, okay? So without further ado, I'm going to be doing a four-card spread that focuses on self-love. This is similar to something that I would do in a life coach setting with somebody who is trying to decide on areas that they could grow on. Because, you know, we have to set clear goals and we have to have, like, know what we're doing and why we're doing it. And we have to understand the whole purpose of it. And so the whole purpose of everything is to love ourselves. We must love ourselves. Because um, if we don't love ourselves, then we can't really love others, you know. So here we go. The Shaman Oracle in front of us by John Matthews and Will Kingham. Also, the cards that I'm using are by Tabitha, uh, I mean by Sandra Tabitha Cicero from um, the Babylonian tarot. So before us, we have the ancestor of illusion. So guys, this tells me that we're behind like the illusion glasses on ourselves and it's time for us to go and drink from the water of truth. Do not be cocky is one of the messages this is trying to send us. And it's also saying, are we on an unknown path? Are we trying something different, fire signs? What's going on? And we need to harness the energy from the gazelle. And it wants us to have wisdom, speed, grace, agility, and being alert. So here, we need to understand that we have to be honest. Because folly or like playing around or not taking things seriously is willful self-deception. Okay? And here we go, our throat chakra. <coughs> Let me clean my throat. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so... It's time for us to get rid of some addictions we might have, whether it's gossip, whether if it's eating, overeating, or over drinking, or just anything that's going to block our throat. Maybe it's lying to ourselves and saying everything is okay when it's really not because we're so prideful. Or, or you know, it's just about opening up our throats and being honest with ourselves and being real and looking in the mirror and saying, you know what, I don't do that too good. <laughs> I should do that better, and I'm going to try harder next time. Um, but this is self-love, so we're going to do it with a loving heart, a loving heart towards ourselves. So this is telling us about distractions, facing the truth, returning to reality, recognizing true friends, and acknowledging the illusion. And that's the message that the um, ancestor of um, illusion has for us. And these cards don't really want to shuffle anymore. Um, I have shuffled quite a bit off camera since I heard that it was hurting people's ears too, so I apologize. Um, are we ready to learn how to self-love uh, fire signs? So, first spot that our ancestors has for us that we need to love about ourselves is the magician. What a nice card to have. We need to be more patient in this area. The queen of swords. Kinder to ourselves in the world reversed. And our energies and strategies, okay, will be, oh, yay. I mean, the universe reversed will be, oh, finally, you guys, we're getting it together. We're getting it together. <laughs> the tablet, the wheel, our overall energies this month or this week, sorry, 
will be that of the king, queen of wands. Boy, I am just stuttering all over myself tonight. I apologize. So we have some pretty good feedback here, guys, from the cards. Okay. So love about ourselves, that we are the magician. Love the fact, fire sign, that you have all the tools you need to be successful. You have everything you need. It's a matter of learning how to use it. See, there's an illusion that you think that you're missing something, that you don't have all the tools, that maybe someone's trying to get over on you, but it's an illusion. You're, you're blocking yourself, but you gotta love, your, you gotta love the fact about you, uh, fire signs, that you got it going on. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> you got what you need to be successful, okay? The magician here is Aya. Aya is called living water, okay? Um, magician is equal to Mercury. Mercury means messenger of God. So love the fact that you are a messenger sometimes, that you receive the messages from others. It's all about communication and being in control of stuff. You're directing the energy right now. Love that about yourself, that you're getting back on your feet is kind of what I feel like. Like you're back in, you're back in the seat of control. Because for a while, um, I just kind of feel like maybe things weren't going so well for some people. Maybe they felt a little out of control. And now that you have this, um, everything that you've went through, you've developed a different view of things. And so now you're sitting there on your throne and you're like, yes, I'm going to do this. Okay, that's the feeling I'm getting. That's the vibe. But love that about yourself. Love that you have these tools. Love that you went through what you went through in order to get where you're going. Okay. Where we need to be more patient with ourselves, um, fire signs, is the prince of the princess, the queen of arrows. So I'm kind of feeling like this has been a time for fire signs to cut some shit out their life. Cutting people, places, and things out of our lives is very difficult. Okay? But we have to love it. We not love it, but love ourselves through it. Be more patient with ourselves. Um, this energy is creative, enduring, and resilient. We have been through a lot of fire signs. I say we on everything, so please forgive me. It's been, it's been one of those months, it's been one of those times I feel that you've kind of been beaten down on certain things and like, you're just ready for something new. So, so be kind to yourself. Be patient. This is where it's telling you to be patient with yourself, Okay. So if we kind of look at just the characteristics of the Queen of Arrows, she's very decisive, authoritative, confident, and self-reliant. So this is where we need to be patient. Don't just jump up and make decisions and choices immediately. Be patient in those decisions that you make. When you're cutting things out of your life, do them with honor and with patience, okay? Don't just go around, I don't need this and I don't need that with calmness okay we have to harness that energy all right because something might be an illusion and we it might be us we need to be real with ourselves we need to be honest with ourselves um the thing is we might have been being a little selfish at some times um so the queen of arrows is telling us to be more patient in dealing with others you know, we, we have all the tools, we have everything. So we need to be more patient with others who may not have it, okay? So be calm and patient with other people as well as with yourself. Um, you can't jump from one thing to the other without going through the process. However, you're coming out as a queen. You're a ruler, you are taking control. And I feel like that's what it is, regaining of control, but you have to be patient in this process, okay? Kinder to yourself in the universe. I feel like there's been some delays. You know, things might not have been working out the way that you wanted them to work out. Like the success from something wasn't as great as you thought it was gonna naturally be. However, it's telling you, be kinder to yourself in this area love yourself in this area um, because there might be like it's almost like you're expecting 
something major to happen and it's not happening and you're like would you just freaking happen already <laughs> because we're kind of impatient as um fire signs you know we're fire we, we're ready to have it we want to have it now and you might lose some momentum along the way let's attribute this to losing weight okay it's bikini season so if you've been eating like it's um parka season and you know what i mean porka parka season all year long and now you want to go buy your string bikini tomorrow and expect to look good in it because you dieted for for four days and you walked a mile or whatever and you're expecting these sudden changes and it didn't happen and just tore your world apart well that's an illusion you're you're not going to get there you're not you're not going to make it there or if you just broke up with somebody and you think i'm just going to get over them well you know there's a process unless you're just magical and you just got over them you know hey teach me how to do that I'd like to learn, but it's a process and things happen and it takes its time. And that's why we have the wheel as our strategy, because right now there's a delay. So that's where we have to be kinder to ourselves. We're not getting the return we want on something. It's OK, because the wheel is telling us that it's coming. Um, for others, you need to be kinder to yourself because you feel ripped apart. You feel torn because, you know, remember the story of on and key. They were so close and they were ripped apart, which created the universe. So remember, out of pain, beauty, and, and creativity, and just stars can be created. I mean, it's, it's a beautiful message. So just understand that right now, you have to be kinder to yourself if you're not getting what you want at this very moment. Like if things slow down, um, things change you know you're afraid of change you're gonna have to be kinder to yourself while you're learning these things if you didn't get the success you wanted out of something be kinder to yourself go back and reevaluate what tools you used what you decided to make a decisive action about okay because we got to see clearly we got to see through we have to drink from the waters of truth that's what our ancestor is telling us okay so now we have the energies and strategies that we're going to use which takes us to the tablet, which tells us karma, balance in all things. We're going to have to ride the wheel, baby. That's what we got to do. So our energies and our strategies is all about letting things happen the way they're supposed to happen. The perpetual motion, bringing past deeds into the present, good fortune, happiness, success, promotion, increase, an unexpected turn of luck. That's really good to hear, right? Especially if we've been torn apart. But that's the energies and strategies. It's almost like we are the magician. We are in control. We're, we know that we are, but we're trying to control too much. Sometimes you have to take a step back and allow things to happen, to let things manifest the way that they're supposed to be or the way they're supposed to go. And I feel like that's the message for, for the fire signs this, um, this week. So um, I did show you that our overall energy for the fire signs couldn't be any more fitting than the queen of wands. I'm going to go ahead and put her right there, right in front of our ancestor of illusion, because she's got her little flashlight, her little wand, and she's going to see through all that bullshit. She's going to see through it, and she's going to tell you, you need to love yourself, okay? You really need to love yourself. And the queen of wands, she's like, I like to think of her as like the... The independent woman and the song always sing, like goes in my head and I'm not going to sing it for y'all, but they spell out independent. <laughs> it's like an old school, so I think little Boosie sings it or something or whatever. I can't say his name right. I can't say anybody's name right. I apologize. But I love that song. And every time I see her, I'm like, I-N-D-E, <laughs> but I won't sing it for y'all. This is us, guys, women and men. We are able to go out and get what we want. You are not only frying up that bacon you're making you're out there making the money to go buy the bacon to, bacon to bring it home fry it up cook it eat it and enjoy it that's the energy you have but you have to decide to use that you have to become you have to step into that role and it's telling you to love yourself for that you're a teacher you're a mentor you can really help somebody okay so yes this is a swift and lasting energy. When the Queen of Wands shows up, she's here to illuminate. So she's here to show you that the universe reversed is an illusion, okay? You are going to go into where you need to be. 
if you follow the advice of the wheel, the tablet, and allowing things to happen. So it's time to be sincere and good natured and adaptable. But you know, just let things happen, you know? And just a little um, thing, just because there's two queens right next to each other. If, for example, you are arguing with a friend right now, the best thing, because when I see two queens, it means like two people are, might be arguing. Um, or you're arguing with yourself, like you're not good enough, or you're, you're, I'm so fat, I'm so fat, or whatever, or I'm ugly, or I'm so stupid. Stop. Stop putting yourself down and stop saying those things to yourself because you are a wonderfully made creature, okay? And whatever you say, you manifest. So speak good things into yourself. And it could also mean, like, maybe you're going to get together with your girlfriends, too, and have a good time because the time is right. The wheel is rolling. And, you know, like, I just get a positive vibe, too. Like, I am I think it's because I'm hoping for some positivity um, with, with everything that's going on. So harness this energy of the queens. Be the queen of your life. And if, if you're a male watching, be the king of your life. You have all the tools you need to be successful. You will... Be kinder to yourself with the world reversed. And the strategies is to allow things to happen with the wheel. So I hope that this resonated with you guys. I know it's a different kind of reading, but I just wanted to, you know, hit on the self-love a little bit. I appreciate all the feedback, like I said before, big hugs, warm kisses on the cheek, <laughs> high fives, fist pumps. And if you'd like a, um, a personal reading, please feel free to um, email me at arianaluciano.com uh, or dot com, gmail.com. I probably forgot, arianaluciano at gmail.com or um, DM me on Instagram at arianaluciano. Thank you so much for letting me be a part of this and um, for your support in my journey. You guys have a great week.